Medal of Honor Recipient, Chaplain Charles J. Waters, on November 19, 1967, Chaplain Waters was serving with the 173rd Airborne Brigade, during an assault on Hill 875, near Doc To, Vietnam. An intense firefight broke out with an enemy battalion. Without thinking of his own safety, Waters began to rush out on the battlefield to help collect the dying and wounded and bring them to safety. Completely exposed, Waters administered the sacrament of last rites to his dying men. Every time his unit began to charge the front line, Waters was ahead picking up the wounded and administering the sacraments to those who had fallen. When a wounded paratrooper was standing in shock in front of the assaulting forces, Chaplain Waters ran forward, picked the man up on his shoulders and carried him to safety. After hours of intense fighting and with the perimeter of the battlefield in a state of constant confusion, Chaplain Waters continued to maintain his composure in a time of severe crisis. For hours after the initial fighting, he kept venturing out between friendly and enemy lines picking up the wounded, providing the exhausted soldiers with food and water, administering the sacraments, and helping the medics give aid to the wounded. There were even efforts to try to restrain Chaplain Waters from his heroic and courageous deeds because of his vulnerability to enemy and friendly fire. Without hesitation and ignoring attempts to restrain him, Chaplain Waters repeatedly left the perimeter in the face of small arms, automatic weapons, and mortar fire to carry and to assist the injured troopers to safety. Satisfied that all of the wounded were inside the perimeter, he began aiding the medics, applying field bandages to open wounds, obtaining and serving food and water, giving spiritual and mental strength and comfort. During his ministering, he moved out to the perimeter from position to position redistributing food and water, and tending to the needs of his men. Chaplain Waters was giving aid to the wounded when he himself was mortally wounded and killed in action. God bless Chaplain Waters. And God bless our vet.